There's a new sweetener you may have been noticing recently on the ingredient list of sugar-free products called allulose. Is it good? Is it bad? How does the body process it? We're going to cover all of that and more. Allulose can be found naturally occurring in foods like figs, grapes, and jackfruit. But unlike other sugars, like glucose and fructose, it has a unique structure that our bodies process differently. Structurally, it's kind of similar to fructose, but it has a different arrangement of hydrogen and oxygen atoms that significantly changes how it gets metabolized in the body. Allulose gets absorbed by the small intestine, but it doesn't really get metabolized and mostly all gets excreted basically unchanged in the urine. This is why the FDA doesn't count allulose as a sugar, because it has no impact on actual blood sugar levels. Also, unlike fructose, allulose doesn't undergo metabolism in the liver. It doesn't get converted into triglycerides or stored as fat like fructose does. In this Korean study, they had 121 adults take either 4 grams of allulose, 7 grams of allulose, or a placebo twice a day for 7 weeks. The 7 grams a day group, the group taking the most, showed a significant decrease in body fat percentage and mass, including abdominal fat. Allulose powders and syrups on the market today are made from corn using an enzymatic process. So you definitely want to make sure you're getting an organic one so you can steer clear of GMOs and glyphosate. When you're using it in recipes, keep in mind that it's about 70 to 80% as sweet as regular sugar. So when you're substituting it for sugar in recipes, a good starting point is to multiply the amount of sugar in the recipe by 1.2 and use that amount of allulose. It also caramelizes at a lower temperature than regular sugar. So you may find that you have to bake at a lower temperature for a little bit longer. As a starting point, I recommend lowering the temperature of your oven by about 25 degrees Fahrenheit from whatever the original recipe suggested. Now, if you've tried allulose before, let me know down in the comments what you tried it in or what recipe you made and how it went. And before you go, here's a link to a video I think you'd enjoy watching next. And here's one the YouTube algorithm thinks you'd enjoy. And there's a link to our website. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you all again next time.